Who's right? Who's wrong? You decide. Hash it out with Frank Garay and Brian Stevens. Hello, my name is Brian Stevens, and this is Frank Garay, and welcome to another edition of Hash It Out. Last week, we learned that Aquin Mortgage was fined by Ben Losky and the boys over at the New York Department of Financial Services for allegedly backdating papers that would lead to foreclosures rather than modifications. Mm -hmm. Now, my opinion is it's not that big of a deal. Frank, on the other hand, seems to think that Aquin deserves exactly what they got. That's right, because even though Aquin may have only backdated these papers as little as three days, according to Ben Losky, right? Three days three days to 30 days, whatever the case may be. In my opinion, uh, it doesn't matter. If I'm in the process of a foreclosure, I'm in the process of trying to get a modification, those three days, those 30 days, that could be, that could mean an awful lot to me as a consumer. And so I think that Aquin deserves whatever they're getting and they need to step up and pay it out. End of story. Okay, well, first of all, I think we need to look at the bigger picture here. Uh, we have seen incessant fines and incessant penalties against, more, against mortgage servicers and mortgage banks together. And as a result of that, we're seeing banks like Chase pulling back. They don't want to fund loans as much. And we can see the exact same thing happen with servicing. So Aquin says it was most of them were three to five days, right? Well, Ben Lasky says they could be upwards of 30 days. But think about this. According to the Department of Financial Services, in New York, the average foreclosure takes 445 days. That's well in excess of a year. Mm -hmm. So if you need those additional 27 days to get your bank statements and your paycheck stubs together, I got news for you. You're not going to get that modification. Not fair. Just absolutely not fair. You can't roll everybody into a little box and say, oh, you've got this much time, so getting, uh, getting shorted this little bit of time shouldn't make a difference to you. That is not fair. First of all, it's not the consumer's problem or the consumer's fault that it takes 445 days to do a foreclosure in New York. That's just how it is. They're simply part of the process. But at the end of the day, those three extra days, those th extra five days, whatever the case may be, that may be what I needed as a consumer. Hence, you know, here's the deal. If I went to court as a person and I showed up with my documents, right, and it was determined that I had backdated certain documents, I'm going down, period. Doesn't matter. End of story. Aquin has to be in the same ball of wax as far as I'm concerned. You said it's not Aquin's fault that it takes 400, excuse me, you said that it's not the consumer's fault that it takes 445 days to do a foreclosure. Frankly, it works to their benefit, Frank. And the other part of it is, it is their fault that they're not making payments in the first place, which is really at the heart of the problem. Here's the issue. If servicers start to get fined by attorneys general, by the Ben Lofskys of the world, by the CFPB, and they make it more expensive and difficult to service loans, some loans of which are going to get foreclosed on, they're not gonna service, meaning it's going to drive the, the price of servicing down, which means those that are selling the servicing rights, the banks are going to have to make that money up in other areas, and it's going to find its place where it always does on a rate sheet, meaning consumers going forward, buying houses, are going to be financing these lawsuits for folks that aren't making their payment. It all comes down to higher costs, so you have to look at what the greater good is here. I don't think so, because you said it right here, and this is where you tend to go, Mr. Brian Stevens. You said it's their fault, the consumer's fault, right, that they're in foreclosure in the first place, or that they're not making their payment. You don't know that. We don't know what the circumstances are. There's a lot of different circumstances that cause people to get behind, go in foreclosure, that type of thing. So we have to account for that. True, there may be some people that just quit, they don't care. And unfortunately, they roll into this 445 day process and you know what? They deserve the damn three to five days, 30 days, whatever it is too, as long as it doesn't hurt the other guy who truly does need that three to five days to 30 days. That's what I say. But most importantly, guys, we need to know what you think about all this. Aquin, should they go down or should they be given a little grace on this thing? Well, Closing I'll, thoughts? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. When you sign a promissory note, it doesn't say, I promise to pay this back unless I lose my job or unless there's mitigating circumstances. You promise to pay it back no matter what. So if you want to put the onus of responsibility, and by the way, having responsibility for your actions is something that we lack. We lack not only in mortgage lending, but at large. It is, their, it is the consumer's responsibility because that's what they signed on the promissory note. And if we're going to go out there and find these servicers for what really appears to be um, a mistake, an honest mistake, then it can hurt those looking to buy houses in a fragile market. An honest mistake, okay, whatever. Hey, catch us all the time here on Hash It Out exclusively on the Mortgage News Network. And of course, come see us at the National Real Estate Post. We'll see you next week. Bye. 
Hash It Out airs every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and can be viewed on MortgageNewsNetwork.com. Thanks for watching us here on Mortgage News Network. You know, you could be part of the action here. If you have a product or service for mortgage professionals, you can be a sponsor and have your commercial here on Mortgage News Network. And if you don't have a commercial, that's okay. We have plenty of clever and creative folks behind the camera who can make a commercial for you. For more information, please send an email to info at mortgagenewsnetwork.com. Or for immediate info, please call Beverly Bolnick, our national sales manager, at 516-409-5555, extension 4. And she'll tell you how you can be part of the action. This is Mortgage News Network.